You set up Pride in Energy, a nationwide LGBT plus network for the energy sector. Why are these networks so important? I don't think it's necessarily confined just to LGBT networks, but I think that professional networks in general add a huge amount of value because you're able to network with people, you're able to build those kind of professional connections outside the kind of group you otherwise ordinarily would. Um, but I think when it comes to those that address diverse issues, it's also kind of additional support network um, and a learning opportunity whereby if you're facing any issues um, in your company, you can talk to someone from another organisation or elsewhere within your organisation if it's a bigger, bigger one. Um, and you can find out whether they face the same and how they dealt with it. Um, you could also have learnings and see whether there's positive initiatives that other companies and organisations have done that you, you and your employers can take forward as well. What is needed to drive the implementation of equality and diversity best practices within the energy industry? I think I think there's two strands. I think there's that it's critical to have that senior level buy-in. So um, when I took our proposals for the two initiatives I'm responsible for to our board, there was resounding approval and having the buy-in from you know CEOs and managing directors of major energy firms um, means that not only are their staff then kind of obligated to help deliver that, but also their competitors are kind of having a look and seeing what they're doing and seeing what value they're getting from that because everyone wants to you know benefit in the same way. Um, and then I think also it's important to make sure that you hit mid-management. So you have um, in, in the LGBT space, I think having ally schemes is really important, um, which can be as simple as you know having a little line on your email signature or wearing a lanyard or you know. Uh, there's a multitude of really simple things like that which can just mark that individual out as someone who is supportive of whatever that specific cause is. From your time working in the energy sector, what have been the biggest changes you have experienced? I think just in the space of a couple of years, I can't, I've spoken to people who are conference organisers, whether it's out because we my employer run a series of events throughout the years and then other conference organisers as well where diversity wasn't even on, on the cards and now we've got it where, I mean Energy UK for example, we have a 50-50 gender balance split for every major event that we run and um, our annual conference in particular which is our kind of big ticket item, we always do that as well. We also have, um, we issued a pledge which we've encouraged our members to take up as well whereby we refuse to have an all-male panel ever again so building those kind of things into um, the operations that companies are taken forward and I don't think you'd have got that a couple of years ago so seeing that change has been quite big from my point of view I think. You were a speaker at this year's Diversity in Energy conference. Why are events like this so important for the industry? I think it's like having, it's almost like having a beacon um, and being able to identify other initiatives and champion those initiatives as well. Um, the fact that Gaztech, which is you know the biggest or one of the biggest conferences in the world, is having an entire day focused on um, diversity, I think, is really important, and it shows just how um, how much attention it's getting within the wider industry. Um, the, the the initiatives that we run, um, we have specific panel sessions, we have breakout sessions, and we have um, dedicated stalls at the events that we hold. Um, to make sure that diversity is captured within that. But also, the, it, it's something that people are bringing up in panel discussions on policy or on specific projects as well. Um, one of the ladies on the earlier panel I was seeing um, said that in other events that she's spoken at, which haven't even necessarily been focused on diversity, she's explained that the projects that she's been delivering have only been delivered because of the diversity of the workforce that they've been able to employ. Um, and I think being able to build the narrative into the kind of day-to-day -day that companies take forward is really important as well.